Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to my presentation today after such a very short night between the evening. And I hope you will enjoy this presentation, which topic is about a probably trough potential cost saving, which could be very interesting for the upcoming projects here in China. Uh, let me say a few words about the content of this presentation today. So after I will shortly introduce the company Solengo, I will talk about a technical concept uh, based on the sub project uh, in regards to make clear which area of the plan will be the topic for the discussion today. After that, I would like to talk about the uh, uh, cost of the solar field in the total cost of the project. Then the main influences of the solar field size, which means definitely the cost. Then the main potential for solar field construction. And finally, I will say a few motivation words for the uh, design and implementation of the upcoming projects in China. Solento is an independent consultancy company offering services in the area of PV, CSB, ISCC, solar desalinization, and wasteful energy. Mostly we offer services as an owner's engineer, lender's engineer, or independent engineer. And as a tech, uh, owner's engineer, we mainly perform tasks like technology assessment, site assessment, bank even feasibility studies, front end engineering, including uh, uh, tendering and uh, evaluation of the bids, contract negotiation, preparing the contract ready to be signed with the EPC contractor mainly. During commissioning, uh, during construction and commissioning, we provide the supervision and design review. We also support the operational and maintenance phase. We provide trainings. I think that some of you attended in January uh, training. We do also the enhanced trainings or trainings on existing facilities. Uh, furthermore, we provide technical support for licensing, permitting, and financing. Today we will talk about the solar field. Uh, for our purpose, the solar field is this part of the plan consisting of the parabolic trough collectors, uh, 150 meters long, connected into the loops for collectors for loops, and the header piping, cold and hot leg. The solar field belongs to the solar island where Solar Island has solar field, thermal energy storage, HDF heater, solar steam generator, and definitely HDF system, which is not shown here. Under the Power Island, we will uh, consider the water steam cycle and the BOPs. The solar field uh, um, is working, as you know, so the cold HDF is coming parallelly into the loops, it's warming up by the solar radiation, and the uh, heat is transferred for solar generation, uh, for steam generation, or for charging the thermal energy storage. We have here also a third source of, this, of the energy, which is the HDF heater, which is primarily designed for freeze protection. But in Spain, it is possible to use fossil fuel for power generation. There are many modes, I will uh, mention only one of them, which is the possibility to charge the energy thermal storage through the HDF here during the night, for example, to get an advantage in the morning to start operation of the project with, uh, prior to dawn and to get an advantage of higher uh, feeding tariff. It must be allowed by the legislation in Spain. It is allowed 
to use up to 12% fossil fuel for power generation in some countries it is not allowed and we will see a water feeding tariff well defined here in China. Solar fuel share of, of, on total uh, project cost. It's an online example because it's very dangerous to present something that has been executed or what is awaiting for you. It strongly depends on the country where it is implemented. So for our case, <clears throat> the example is based on the undersoil size project in Spain. As you can see, approximately 30% is for the project development, 43% is for power block, thermal energy storage, BOP, HDF, project management, and so on. And the red highlighted column is the solar field. You see 30%. It's a very huge amount of investment, and therefore it is very attractive to focus on reducing the price to this part of the plant. The rest, as you so show here, are allowances. There should be a definite also cost for operations oh. not shown because it is not, uh, not uh, <laughs> the theme of today's presentation. So once again, the third person will, will be the theme for today's presentation. We as a soil we see the main influences on the size of the solar field, definitely regarding the DNI, which we can see here in the average DNI map of China, where we can see the high radiation, the lower radiation, the lower is the irradiation, the larger is the solar field, and the less competitive is the uh, uh, CSP project. The solar multiple is mainly defined by the capacity of the thermal storage, which is defined in the power purchase agreement or in the feeding tariff. For example, Anderson, Anderson has a, a solar multiple 2, which means that the departure area is 200 person. The last point which we consider as important is the topography. The flatter the land is, the less you need to do the earth moving for allegorizing the, the, the sun field, which allowed you also to squeeze the solar field on the minimum and to uh, provide of the design shorter header piping, which you are going to save not only the money for the piping or HDF, but also for auxiliary consumption during the operation. We talk about our main influences, so that means the first is very important to find a suitable site that you want the first majority of the points. But also, if you are taking a look at into the design already in this phase, the CSP industry sees uh, the potential of solar field reduction in technology improvements, economy of scale, cheaper components, mass production. We, as a Solenco, we see also the potential in design of solar field and in project management. We will, we will talk about each topic separately. Improving collector field performance uh, means mainly to find uh, the defined uh, the, the, the collector which is most suitable for the site where you are intending to design the plant. I mean, the harsher the conditions are and the size, the higher is the wind load, and the tougher must be the uh, collector and more durable it must be. We demonstrated it here on the wind tunnel test, where you can see uh, uh, how uh, the solar, co uh, solar, solar collector is influenced by the wind load and focusing on the receiver. High operational temperature of heat transfer fluid is known to everybody since the CSP industry is implementing the plans, uh, the, the uh, efficiency of the thermal cycle, of the water steam cycle is limited with the operational temperature of the HDF up to 400 degrees Celsius. I think it is necessary to mention here that there was, there was some work done, there were investigation and testing and other uh, HDF fluids. Also oil, for example, based on uh, hydroaromatic uh, uh, 
uh, uh, anaerobic uh, carbons. But the most in, uh, interesting is uh, the molten salt, where uh, the operational temperature can be reached up to 600, uh, uh, 650 degrees Celsius. Alternative mirror design uh, is also very interesting. There has been done a lot of work. Uh, for example, tough drop with Singlass or Skyview, who is attending this uh, presentation. He has an aluminum shield put into the frame, uh, which uh, can be also interesting to be investigated. Solar collector uh, elements. Uh, steel, uh, we know that there have been done a lot of work. We have a, a different steel structure of the collectors, Abengua, Eurotrap collector, Senar collector. Or not metallic collectors. Uh, I already mentioned Skyfuel. Skyfuel has also uh, uh, done a lot of work in this regard. So here's an aluminium framework, and 3M have another uh, not metallic framework, which could be also interesting. Uh, in the technology improvements. Single molten salt storage is not direct to the solar field, but I wanted to mention it here. As an example, it is shown uh, the single molten salt uh, used in uh, Valley 2, uh, which has been developed by Senner and is since 2011 in uh, test operation. Senner already announced that he would like to use this. Uh, collector in commercial scale, and he is expecting 25% cost savings in the thermal storage. The last one which is listed here is the direct thermal energy storage system, which is known from a solar tower technology, uh, solar reserve, for example. Uh, that's uh, 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 also a possibility to implement it in the power electron uh, system if you use molten salt. Economy of scale. Um, many engineering companies and, and uh, technology providers uh, did this economy of scale. We took here two examples. One of them is the Schleifermann partner who developed the collectors with, in cooperation with others. The first one is the Eurotraff collector. The last one is the Ultimate Traff. You know, it's a very big difference between them. Center with similar work but also Siemens, Abengoa, and I. To get the picture about it, we used here to publish a, a, a comparison based on the Undersol one size project done by Flavek and Schleiperman partner, where we can see the effect of using uh, the scale of collectors. Uh, for example, on the solar field area, we can see the area will be smaller. Not the departure area, but the area of the solar field. The number of loop will be lower, and consequently the collectors, number of collectors will be lower, and less collector, collectors need less drivers, sensors, controls, islands, super joints, crossover pipes. You can see that nearly more than half uh, more than 50% of components can be saved. I would like to say here that the larger the solar field, uh, the, 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 the more significant is the effect of the scale. Cheaper components, so Mr. Tupper already mentioned, so be careful about the cheap, cheap components. I'm not go going to talk about cheap components in the regard that the quality will lower. So just pretend that the quality bill will be the highest and the world is expecting uh, in China that uh, China will be able to produce cheaper components because in China is a proven track in success, of success in, in, in producing components. Cheaper, mainly it is the mirrors and receivers. Sometimes it will be needed some licensing agreement with the international company. But uh, already if you have a manufacturers here, we need Royal Tech, uh, for mirrors, for ice power, and, and, and the others. Solar collector frame, that's a very big expectation that uh, here could be done significant cost savings. HDF is a question mark, but uh, we will have in the past three today a uh, discussion here, so maybe we will learn here if that will be true. 
and consequently, definitely, civil work, foundations, windbreakers, also in instrumentation, an electrical part, HGF system, pumps, vessels, there can be a significant cost savings if the components are cheaper. Very small part is part of temporary facilities, but uh, also that should be considered, which is the assembly hall, uh, temporary buildings, roads, or rental. For example, China has a lot of construction machines which can be rented for the projects, and, and that could be an effect, could have an effect on, on the cost of the project. Mass production. If it comes to the mass production, the manufacturers are focusing to uh, investigate in the possibility to produce cheaper, faster, and less energy intensive uh, process, which, re which result in uh, cheaper components. We learned in the car industry recently, the PV industry, so it could be also expected in the CSP industry. Again, here the main components where the mass production can have a, a significant impact on the price, which are mirrors, receivers, supports, uh, ACS, uh, ACA structure, piping, HDF itself, drivers, and sensors. Design of the solar field. We depicted some topics which we would like to talk about today and to share experience. So definitely the DNI and the wind load have a very big impact on the, on the, on the design of the solar field. The other meteorological uh, uh, parameters are not so important, despite the fact that uh, here in China you are always discussing at uh, low ambient temperature, especially in winter, in the areas with high radiation and the plant can be implemented. We as a Solenco, we see uh, this problem more in the higher LOC costs rather than in the higher CAPEX costs. I mean that the operation of the freeze protection system will be much more intensive than uh, for the plants which has been implemented in uh, North Africa or there where the environment is uh, much more mild. Defining solar multiple uh, site conditions, uh, sorry, site conditions, uh, that's definitely uh, something what is uh, assessing the uh, site selection, mainly the topography we talk about, but also the accessibility, uh, uh, the availability of the water uh, will influence the design of the solar. Defining solar multiple uh, is the size of the solar field. Uh, of the thermal storage, uh, which is depending on the feeding tariff, so to design it uh, uh, in the most economical uh, optimum for getting the largest IRR, as uh, Mr. Tan will talk about. And uh, shading blocking. Shading blocking is uh, the issue about the, the, the designing the distance between the collector rows, uh, rows and the uh, and, uh, located location of the power. Particularly, I would like to mention here uh, the cooling tower, so not only the shading from the cooling tower on the, on, the, on the trucks, but if we have the possibility to use the wet cooling, then also the fume of steam, which is uh, going to influence the its surrounding, its fogging or icing, shall be taken into account during the design. Overall field efficiency is mainly focused on optical efficiency, and uh, thermal losses, because they are quite huge. And you know, uh, the solar field is uh, assembled in the field, so therefore the quality control shall be done on a very high level in the assembly hall, and uh, then also the alignment of the collector in the, in the field. Part of the consumption, uh, we talk about it a little bit, it's uh, about the terracing, and about the length, which is defining the length of the, of the header piping. The longer is the header piping, uh, the higher are the pressure drops, and they define the main plastic consumption. Axis orientation is collector. So we have been involved in many projects, and we spend a lot of time at the sites, and we realize 
that from side to side the, the environment is totally different. The main uh, difference we found in the coast areas where it's hazy in the morning and in the desert where it's hazy in the evening. So therefore we started thinking about it, what we can do with it and one of the possibilities is to till the collector. To put the collector oblique that you reduce the casino's effect and you earn or you harvest more energy during the time when it's uh, clear sky and during the time when it's uh, hazy you harvest less which improved the overall yearly yield and then has an impact on uh, the economy of the project. The last one here are the uh, square loops. This seems more is old because we are talking about undersaws. The square loops have, have been foreseen for the case that the EPC conductor is not going to fulfill its contractual obligation and some additional uh, solar field area or departure area is needed. Unfortunately, it's not possible to add I mean, the extended solar field here on the side because of the hydrodynamic uh, 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 of, of the piping. So therefore, uh, the, 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 the spur spaces were calculated somewhere here, as you can see. Fortunately, the Anasol project was not needed for uh, adding here spur loops because the performance were fulfilled. And these spur spaces for spur loops were used later on for testing new collectors. For example, Senner tested his collector in Andersol. Project management. So, we all know that there are big projects like airports, roads, power plants are sometimes delayed and sometimes they are suffering from deficiencies. That's because of the project's management, which we would like to demonstrate here or discuss here on this triangle between the time, scope, and cost, ensuring the quality and the performance of the project. The time is the most obvious one, so everything takes time. Design, delivery to the site, erection, commissioning, everything takes time. Everything has a deadline, so the deadline is hit and the, and the work is not finished. The project management is facing a problem with three solutions. One of them is to make it on the low quality. Second is to reduce the scope of work. And the third one is uh, to make delay. Scope is about the project itself. What are we going to, to construct? How many suppliers and other parties we will have involved in the, in the project? And how good are defined the interfaces to reduce or to minimize uh, claims? These two concerns, time and scope, result in the cost. So if there is a delay, the costs are higher. If the scope is going to be changed, then there is an influence on the cost, usually the direction of but costs are settled already at the beginning of the project or prior to the project, so therefore it is not in the interest of the owner to change it midway. And therefore the project management must ensure that the quality and performance is ensured in the time and the scope of work is finished uh, 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 as it is constructed. The conclusion for today is that the most profitable CSP project is based on a professional, professionally uh, performed site <laughs> selection, based on basic design carefully considering the local manufacturing, and definitely on conditions defined in the power purchase agreement or for us at the beginning in the feeding target. The solar field must be carefully evaluated based on the geographical latitude, the available land of the individual site, its irradiation profile, and the relative cost of the component. So, I think uh, that's it for me for today, and I will be very pleased any questions if you have some. Thank you very much for your attention.
。好，感谢妙和老师见证了精彩分享。那么下面有人提问吗？稍等一下，稍等一下。可以了吗？您好，我想，嗯、呃，非常感谢您的分享。我想有两个问题跟您请教一下。嗯、呃，第一个就是，呃，关于这个度电成本，就是 LOCE 的这个，呃，优化问题，就是您认为在前期的设计，就是前期的设计过程中。做到什么样的程度既准确又可以实现？因为这个项目启动它也是有一个工期要求。这第一个问题，就是如何如何在有限的时间内，呃，做一个相对理想，然后又可实现的这样，就是相对准确，然后又在设计阶段可实现的这样的。<笑>这样一个一个评估呢？这个问题可能比较宽泛，可以具体一点吗？这样说吧，就是因为可能国内外的设计还是有一些差别，我想了解一下，在德国的设计这个 LCE 的这个呃评估的时候，是设计要进行到什么样的一个深度，会更加准确，而且可以实现？可能我们的同传没有把这个信息准确传达到位，可能他不是特别理解您的这个问题。嗯、哦，我们请周姐帮忙一下。嗯、um, ，Miroslav, thank you very much for your for your sharing. Um, probably there are some differences in the engineering uh, for a power plant in Germany and in China. So as you know, that China just started CSP projects. So. What are the tips you would like to give uh, for Chinese engineering institutes when you uh, or when the Chinese institutes uh, do the detailed engineering of the CSB plants? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for the questions, ladies. Uh, so I don't know exactly where I shall start, so I will start with the, with the last question. Uh, Design of the solar field, uh, it doesn't matter if you do it from Germany or if it is done from the United States, from Warren Marson, or if it is done from India or from China. Uh, necessary is to consider some main uh, important topics, some of them we discussed today. Definitely the project, which has a very good DNI, has a, a best uh, a possibility to be uh, with the best economy. Uh, we discussed here. What everything shall be considered is the local manufacturing. The site selection is very important because you have to consider also um, what everything or how you will put it in the place, what will be the shape of the solar field. And local manufacturing is very important also. Uh, Mr. Talfer already mentioned, so be careful to take cheap components if the component does not reach the quality, for example. And that, that's, this is the challenge for the engineering here. The other challenge is that the it's necessary to take uh, experience or lesson learned. But, you know, the plants have been built, they are now five, six years in operation. Some experience came. We all know that uh, the plants will be, uh, will, uh, after, after the commissioning, they will be equipped with additional uh, equipment. But that's based on the feeding guide, so on the power purchase agreement. Uh, we know also that in, Ch in Spain, the law was changed which is more challenging for operation, and therefore that has also an impact on the design. So, in other words, the design in China will be mainly uh, in, in fact on the uh, feeding tariff, how it looks look like, what will be the condition. We already talked about it, for example, if the Chinese plants can use fuel for power generation, uh, then the design will be definitely different. In this case, it will be not allowed. So and, uh, for the first question, uh, I think that we clearly define here what are the main topics of it. So site selection must be uh, must be 
professionally perform because if you miss some uh, information, like for example seismic, and the seismic is high at the side, and you build a plant, you you are you have you are having a serious problem. Uh, same same thing is the uh, concerning the local manufacturing. If you buy something on the local market and it's cheap, you have to take care of the quality. And very important is to, 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 to really analyze the power purchase agreement, how to design the plan that the operation will meet the most technical economical objective. This means for example thermal storage. Okay. 因为时间关系，我们就留在一个问题吧。然后后续有问题的话，可以再和张子老师先生再沟通吧。嗯。再次感谢张子老师的分享。